one. What time will Josh and Hannah meet? Hi, Hannah. Don't forget we're going to the cinema for Lucy's birthday tonight. I know, Josh. Shall we go together? We can catch the seven o'clock bus from Grange Road. Okay. I'll come to your house at a quarter to seven, and we can walk to the bus stop from there. Great, but don't be late. The film starts at half past seven. Now listen again. Hi, Hannah. Don't forget we're going to the cinema for Lucy's birthday tonight. I know, Josh. Shall we go together? We can catch the seven o'clock bus from Grange Road. Okay. I'll come to your house at a quarter to seven, and we can walk to the bus stop from there. Great, but don't be late. The film starts at half past seven. Two. How much did the girl pay for her tennis shoes? So these are your new tennis shoes. How much were they? Don't worry, Dad. Remember you said I could spend seventy pounds. Well, I found these for just thirty pounds in the sale. That's excellent news. Yes, there was an even nicer pair for forty pounds, but they were a bit big. Now listen again. So these are your new tennis shoes. How much were they? Don't worry, Dad. Remember you said I could spend seventy pounds. Well, I found these for just thirty pounds in the sale. That's excellent news. Yes, there was an even nicer pair for forty pounds, but they were a bit big. Three. Which notebook was left in the classroom? Joe, I think you've left your notebook in the classroom. No, that's not mine. Mine hasn't got stars on it. Of course, yours has circles, doesn't it? I know Tom's has stripes on the cover, so it's not his. Actually, I think it might be Jessica's. I'll ask her. Good idea. Now listen again. Joe, I think you've left your notebook in the classroom. No, that's not mine. Mine hasn't got stars on it. Of course, yours has circles, doesn't it? I know Tom's has stripes on the cover, so it's not his. Actually, I think it might be Jessica's. I'll ask her. Good idea. Four. Which after-school sport will the boy do this term? What sport are you going to do after school this term? Football again? Well, I actually wanted tennis, but there weren't enough people for that, and now the football club is full, so I had to choose basketball. It's a shame, as I really like football. You're good at it too. Thanks. Now listen again. What sport are you going to do after school this term? Football again? Well, I actually wanted tennis, but there weren't enough people for that, and now the football club is full, so I had to choose basketball. It's a shame, as I really like football. You're good at it too. Thanks. Five. What will the girl eat for dinner tonight? Hi, Dad. What's that you're cooking? It's roast chicken for our dinner. Do you mind if I have something else? 
I had a big plate of pasta at school, so I'm not very hungry. No problem. There's some soup in the fridge. Perfect. I'll have the chicken tomorrow. Now listen again. Hi, Dad. What's that you're cooking? It's roast chicken for our dinner. Do you mind if I have something else? I had a big plate of pasta at school, so I'm not very hungry. No problem. There's some soup in the fridge. Perfect. I'll have the chicken tomorrow. That is the end of part one. Test one. Listening. Part two. Now look at part two. For each question, write the correct answer in the gap. Write one word or a number or a date or a time. Look at questions 6 to 10 now. You have 10 seconds. You will hear a girl leaving a message about band practice. Hi everyone, this is Sarah on the 25th of April. Don't forget the school concert is on the 21st of May. It's great that our band is playing in it, but we really need to practice before then. We all have after-school activities from Monday to Thursday, so let's meet on Friday. We can talk about how many songs we're going to play and which ones, that sort of thing. I've booked a room for us. It's called the Callisto Room. That's C-A-L-L-I-S-T-O. I'm not sure we've ever been there before. It's on the third floor. There's a dance class starting in there at three o'clock, so we can begin at four. I think we should finish by 6 p.m. It's a long practice this time, so don't forget snacks. But no need to bring your own instruments. We can use the schools. Oh, one more thing. If my phone is switched off and you need to send me a message, call the school secretary on 03726 She'll find me. Now listen again. Hi everyone. This is Sarah on the 25th of April. Don't forget the school concert is on the 21st of May. It's great that our band is playing in it, but we really need to practice before then. We all have after-school activities from Monday to Thursday, so let's meet on Friday. We can talk about how many songs we're going to play and which ones, that sort of thing. I've booked a room for us. It's called the Callisto Room. That's C-A-L-L-I-S-T-O. I'm not sure we've ever been there before. It's on the third floor. There's a dance class starting in there at three o'clock, so we can begin at four. I think we should finish by 6 p.m. It's a long practice this time, so don't forget snacks. But no need to bring your own instruments. We can use the schools. Oh, one more thing. If my phone is switched off and you need to send me a message, Call the school secretary on 03726 998 241. She'll find me.
That is the end of part two. Test one. Listening. Part three. Now look at part three. For each question, choose the correct answer. Look at questions 11 to 15 now. You have 20 seconds. You will hear Maria talking to her friend Darren about a dance school. You're looking well, Maria. Are you still doing a lot of running? Actually, I've started going to a dance school. It's great for me because I can get the bus there from the town centre after college. And then it's just a short walk to my house when the lesson ends. What kind of dance classes do you do? The school offers lots of kinds. Jazz dance, modern dance and even street dance. That's the one I chose. Is it expensive? Not really. Normally it's £100 a term, but there's a special offer on this month, so it's £75. That's a discount of £25. Not bad. This sounds like a good activity me. I really need to do more exercise and I hate sport. I'll ask some of my friends to come too. OK, but why not visit the school first to see if you like it? There's a special show for visitors next Saturday. Come to my house at 2pm and we'll go together. That's a brilliant idea. Thanks. I know how to get to your place by bus. Great. See you then. Now listen again. You're looking well, Maria. Are you still doing a lot of running? Actually, I've started going to a dance school. It's great for me because I can get the bus there from the town centre after college. And then it's just a short walk to my house when the lesson ends. What kind of dance classes do you do? The school offers lots of kinds. Jazz dance, modern dance and even street dance. That's the one I chose. Is it expensive? Not really. Normally it's £100 a term, but there's a special offer on this month, so it's £75. That's a discount of £25. Not bad. This sounds like a good activity for me. I really need to do more exercise and I hate sport. I'll ask some of my friends to come too. OK, but why not visit the school first to see if you like it? There's a special show for visitors next Saturday. Come to my house at 2pm and we'll go together. That's a brilliant idea. Thanks. I know how to get to your place by bus. Great. See you then. That is the end of part three. Test one. Listening. Part four. Now look at part four. For each question, choose the correct answer. Look at questions 16 to 20 now. You have 15 seconds. Sixteen. You will hear two friends talking. Where are they? I'm really hungry. I forgot to eat before we left the house. Me too. I'm starving. 
and we won't get to our station for another two hours. How much money have you got on you? Six pounds. It's enough to get a couple of sandwiches. OK, you go and get them. I'll stay in my seat and look after our bags. Now listen again. I'm really hungry. I forgot to eat before we left the house. Me too. I'm starving. And we won't get to our station for another two hours. How much money have you got on you? Six pounds. It's enough to get a couple of sandwiches. OK, you go and get them. I'll stay in my seat and look after our bags. Seventeen. You will hear two friends talking in a clothes shop. What doesn't the man like about the jacket? So, do you think you'll buy the jacket? That dark blue really suits you. I'm not sure. I agree about the colour, but it's a bit too short at the back. Ah, oh, I see. Well, at that price, you have to be sure you really love it. You're right. OK, let's keep looking. Now listen again. So, do you think you'll buy the jacket? That dark blue really suits you. I'm not sure. I agree about the colour, but it's a bit too short at the back. Ah, oh, I see. Well, at that price, you have to be sure you really love it. You're right. OK, let's keep looking. Eighteen. You will hear a woman talking on the radio. What is she doing? There are too many cooking shows on TV. The thing is, I'm not interested. I've got lots of hobbies, but cooking isn't one of them. If you're like me, just use the supermarket. That's what I do. And you should too. The shelves are full of ready meals. And lots of them are really nice and healthy too. Now listen again. There are too many cooking shows on TV. The thing is, I'm not interested. I've got lots of hobbies, but cooking isn't one of them. If you're like me, just use the supermarket. That's what I do. And you should too. The shelves are full of ready meals, and lots of them are really nice and healthy too. Nineteen. You will hear two friends talking at home. What have they just broken? Oh no! How did that happen? I'm really sorry. I didn't see it there by the sofa. I kicked it over by accident. We were both so busy playing our game. We'd better clean it up or someone will cut themselves. OK. I'll get a cloth as well. There's water everywhere. Now listen again. Oh no! How did that happen? I'm really sorry. I didn't see it there by the sofa. I kicked it over by accident. We were both so busy playing our game. We'd better clean it up or someone will cut themselves. OK. I'll get cloth as well. There's water everywhere. Twenty. You will hear a man describing a painting. What is the painting of? Now, this is the painting we gave first prize to. It shows a moment just after the rain has stopped. The sun is out, and the trees and plants in the gardens look fresh and beautiful. The colours of the doors and roofs are so bright, and a few people are just starting to come out of their houses.
Now listen again. Now this is the painting we gave first prize to. It shows a moment just after the rain has stopped. The sun is out, and the trees and plants in the gardens look fresh and beautiful. The colours of the doors and the roofs are so bright, and a few people are just starting to come out of their houses. That is the end of part four. Test one, listening. Part five. Now look at part five. For each question, choose the correct answer. Look at questions twenty-one to twenty-five now. You have fifteen seconds. You will hear Pete talking to a friend about his holiday plans. What is his plan for each day? What are you doing over the holidays, Pete? On Monday, nothing except sleep. I'm so tired. <laughs> What about Tuesday? Well, my friend is coming to stay with me for a few days, so I want to get all my schoolwork done that day before he arrives. I've got a lot of maths and French to do. Good idea. So, are you going out with your friend on Wednesday? That's right. I'm taking him round the city. I want to show him the castle and all the other interesting places we've got here. You'll need a rest after that. No time. On Thursday, we're playing tennis at my club, the one near the supermarket, and we might go swimming afterwards. What about Friday? I've got cinema tickets. I wanted to take him to the theatre, but it was too expensive. I know what you mean, and I guess your friend goes home on Saturday. Yes, but not till the evening. Before that, he wants to get some new sports clothes in the city, so we'll do that together. Sounds like you'll have a great holiday. Now listen again. What are you doing over the holidays, Pete? On Monday, nothing except sleep. I'm so tired. <laughs> What about Tuesday? Well, my friend is coming to stay with me for a few days, so I want to get all my schoolwork done that day before he arrives. I've got a lot of maths and French to do. Good idea. So, are you going out with your friend on Wednesday? That's right. I'm taking him round the city. I want to show him the castle and all the other interesting places we've got here. You'll need a rest after that. No time. On Thursday we're playing tennis at my club, the one near the supermarket, and we might go swimming afterwards. What about Friday? I've got cinema tickets. I wanted to take him to the theatre, but it was too expensive. I know what you mean. And I guess your friend goes home on Saturday. Yes, but not till the evening. Before that, he wants to get some new sports clothes in the city, so we'll do that together. Sounds like you'll have a great holiday. That is the end of part five. You now have six minutes to write your answers on the answer sheet.
You have one more minute. That is the end of the test. Part 1 There are five parts to the test. You will hear each piece twice. Now look at the instructions for part 1. For each question, choose the correct answer. Look at question 1. One. What will the weather be like tomorrow? It's lovely and sunny, isn't it? Yes, it's wonderful. I hope it doesn't rain tomorrow. I'm having a barbecue. I heard on the radio that it's going to be windy. That's a shame. I wanted tomorrow to be nice weather for my guests. Now listen again. It's lovely and sunny, isn't it? Yes, it's wonderful. I hope it doesn't rain tomorrow. I'm having a barbecue. I heard on the radio that it's going to be windy. That's a shame. I wanted tomorrow to be nice weather for my guests. Two. Where are the boys going to meet their friend Dave? So are we meeting Dave at the cinema this evening? I told him to go to the shop on the corner. We can all catch the bus to the cinema from there. OK. Can we stop at the burger place on the way to the shop? I haven't had dinner. <laughs> of course. Thanks. Now listen again. So are we meeting Dave at the cinema this evening? I told him to go to the shop on the corner. We can all catch the bus to the cinema from there. OK. Can we stop at the burger place on the way to the shop? I haven't had dinner. <laughs> of course. Thanks. Three. Which birthday card does Nicole choose? Oh, this is a beautiful birthday card, Nicole. Why don't you get this for Grandma? She gets so many cards with flowers on, Mum. I'd like something different. Mm, what about this one, then, of the countryside? I know you don't want anything with writing on. Oh, yes, that's lovely. Thanks. I'll get that one. Great. Let's go and pay. Now listen again. Oh, this is a beautiful birthday card, Nicole. Why don't you get this for Grandma? She gets so many cards with flowers on, Mum. I'd like something different. Mm, 
What about this one then, of the countryside? I know you don't want anything with writing on. Oh yes, that's lovely. Thanks. I'll get that one. Great. Let's go and pay. Four. What did the woman repair? What have you done today? Look, my broken old bike is as good as new now. Doing that took me all morning. Afterwards, I went shopping. What did you buy? A new light. The one on my desk is broken, and it's not possible to repair it. You did well today, then. Now listen again. What have you done today? Look, my broken old bike is as good as new now. Doing that took me all morning. Afterwards, I went shopping. What did you buy? A new light. The one on my desk is broken, and it's not possible to repair it. You did well today, then. Five. Where will they stay when they are on holiday? What kind of holiday are we having this summer? Shall we go camping again? I asked your brother the same question, and he'd prefer to stay in a hotel, but they're expensive for a whole family. What about renting a house by the sea? That's a great idea. It'll be more comfortable than a tent and cheaper than a hotel. Now listen again. What kind of holiday are we having this summer? Shall we go camping again? I asked your brother the same question, and he'd prefer to stay in a hotel, but they're expensive for a whole family. What about renting a house by the sea? That's a great idea. It'll be more comfortable than a tent and cheaper than a hotel. That is the end of part one. Test two. Listening. Part two. Now look at part two. For each question, write the correct answer in the gap. Write one word or a number or a date or a time. Look at questions six to ten now. You have ten seconds. You will hear a woman leaving a message for a friend about a trip to the theatre. Hi, Tammy. It's Paula. I'm calling about our trip to the theatre. The show's called Forest. I think it'll be better than the one called Dance. I booked the seats online today. There weren't any left for Friday, so we're going on Thursday. I know you're free both days. The tickets were twenty-seven pounds fifty each. The ones for twelve pounds were sold out, unfortunately. But at least we'll have a great view of the stage. I know we usually go into the city by car, but there's no parking at the theatre, so let's get the train instead. It will be quicker and easier than the bus. We'll need to eat before we leave. I'm always really hungry after work. Let's meet at Cafe Lazelle for a meal. That's L A Z E double L E. If you've never been there before, I'm sure you can find it online. The show starts at seven forty-five, so I'll see you at six fifteen. That will give us time to eat and then go to the theatre. See you then. Bye. Now listen again. Hi, Tammy. It's Paula. I'm calling about our trip to the theatre. The show's called Forest. 
I think it'll be better than the one called Dance. I booked the seats online today. There weren't any left for Friday, so we're going on Thursday. I know you're free both days. The tickets were £27.50 each. The ones for £12 were sold out, unfortunately. But at least we'll have a great view of the stage. I know we usually go into the city by car, but there's no parking at the theatre, so let's get the train instead. It will be quicker and easier than the bus. We'll need to eat before we leave. I'm always really hungry after work. Let's meet at Café Lazelle for a meal. That's L A Z E L L E. If you've never been there before, I'm sure you can find it online. The show starts at 7.45, so I'll see you at 6.15. That will give us time to eat and then go to the theatre. See you then. Bye. That is the end of part two. Test 2. Listening. Part 3. Now look at part 3. For each question, choose the correct answer. Look at questions 11 to 15 now. You have 20 seconds. You will hear Reuben and his friend Amy talking about their computers. I'm going to sell this tablet of mine. But you only just bought it. I know, but it was a mistake. I chose it because it was nice and small, but the camera's not great, and I can only play a few of my games on it. How are you going to sell it? Well, I offered it to my brother, he doesn't want it, so I'll put an advertisement online. There's a shop on my street that buys old phones and computers, but they don't pay much for them. How much do you want for it? Well, it costs me £300, and it's nearly new, so I'd like to get around £200. If I do, I can spend £500 on a new laptop. You should get the laptop I've got. It's got lots of memory and good speakers. But the best thing is the screen. It's amazing for games. Sounds good. Have you got it with you? It's at home. Come round and see it this weekend. Sunday morning's good for me. I'm busy all day Saturday and Sunday afternoon. Great. I'll see you then. Now listen again. I'm going to sell this tablet of mine. But you've only just bought it. I know, but it was a mistake. I chose it because it was nice and small, but the camera's not great, and I can only play a few of my games on it. How are you going to sell it? Well, I offered it to my brother, but he doesn't want it, so... I'll put an advertisement online. There's a shop on my street that buys old phones and computers, but they don't pay much for them. How much do you want for it? Well, it costs me £300, and it's nearly new, so I'd like to get around £200. If I do, I can spend £500 on a new laptop. You should get the laptop I've got. It's got lots of memory and good speakers, but the best thing is the screen. It's amazing for games. Sounds good. Have you got it with you? It's at home. Come round and see it this weekend. Sunday morning's good for me. 
I'm busy all day Saturday and Sunday afternoon. Great. I'll see you then. That is the end of part three. Test two, listening, part four. Now look at part four. For each question, choose the correct answer. Look at questions 16 to 20 now. You have 15 seconds. Sixteen. You will hear two friends talking about a birthday present. What kind of present is it? Look at this. My mum got it for my birthday. Wow! Gorgeous photos. Yes, and the articles are fascinating. Look at this page. There's a competition you can enter. Oh, yes. The prize is exhibition tickets. If I win, you can come with me. Now listen again. Look at this. My mum got it for my birthday. Wow! Gorgeous photos. Yes, and the articles are fascinating. Look at this page. There's a competition you can enter. Oh, yes. The prize is exhibition tickets. If I win, you can come with me. Seventeen. You will hear two friends talking about running. What does the woman say about running? Everyone's running these days. Have you noticed? All my friends have started too. They say it's the best way to get fit. I'm not sure about that. I think the gym's better for you. Yes, you're less likely to get injured. Look at poor Toby and his bad knee. I know. Now listen again. Everyone's running these days. Have you noticed? All my friends have started too. They say it's the best way to get fit. I'm not sure about that. I think the gym's better for you. Yes, you're less likely to get injured. Look at poor Toby and his bad knee. I know. Eighteen. You will hear a woman talking about her new job. How does she feel about it? I knew this job wasn't going to be easy when I accepted it, but I was a bit bored in my old job. I liked my colleagues, but I needed a change. And there are parts of this job that I love. I just hope I can learn to do the hard parts. 19. Now listen again. I knew this job wasn't going to be easy when I accepted it, but I was a bit bored in my old job. I liked my colleagues, but I needed a change. And there are parts of this job that I love. I just hope I can learn to do the hard parts. 19. You will hear two friends talking. What have they just done? That was great. It's such a shame Jim wasn't free tonight. I know, but at least we can tell him how good it is. I'm surprised how much I enjoyed it. The reviews weren't very good, but I thought the story was wonderful. Yes, and the acting was great, but I'm starving now. Let's go and get some food. 19. Now listen again. 20. That was great. 
It's such a shame Jim wasn't free tonight. I know, but at least we can tell him how good it is. I'm surprised how much I enjoyed it. The reviews weren't very good, but I thought the story was wonderful. Yes, and the acting was great. But I'm starving now. Let's go and get some food. Twenty. You will hear a man talking on the phone. What is he doing? Oh, hello. I've got an appointment with Mr. Johnson at three p.m. today. I need to see him because I've got a really painful tooth. But I'm stuck in traffic, and I won't get there until three fifteen at the earliest. Can you let him know? Thanks very much. Now listen again. Oh, hello. I've got an appointment with Mr. Johnson at three p.m. today. I need to see him because I've got a really painful tooth. But I'm stuck in traffic, and I won't get there until three fifteen at the earliest. Can you let him know? Thanks very much. That is the end of part four. Test two, listening, part five. Now look at part five. For each question, choose the correct answer. Look at questions twenty-one to twenty-five now. You have fifteen seconds. You will hear Rita talking to a friend about her family's hobbies. What hobby does each person have? Mmm, nice biscuits, Harry. Thanks. My cousin made them. He spends all his free time cooking. I remember your sister liked cooking when she was little. You're right. Well, now she has a different hobby: going round the world. She's in Thailand at the moment. She has a blog, so we can follow her. Wow. What about your little brother? Does he have a hobby? He plays guitar in a band. He's not like most of his friends who spend all their time playing computer games. I'm sure that makes your mum happy. What's her hobby? She buys old dolls. She's got hundreds of them. That's unusual. And what about your dad? He's a member of a theatre group. I'm going to see him in a play next month. Oh, is he any good? <laughs>、mm, not bad, but like my granddad always says. We won't see him in any films. Oh dear. <laughs> so, what does your granddad do? He likes taking pictures. He's got lots of cameras and special computer software to make them look really good. Well, what an interesting family. Now listen again. Mmm, nice biscuits, Harry. Thanks. My cousin made them. He spends all his free time cooking. I remember your sister liked cooking when she was little. You're right. Well, now she has a different hobby: going round the world. She's in Thailand at the moment. She has a blog, so we can follow her. Wow. What about your little brother? Does he have a hobby? He plays guitar in a band. He's not like most of his friends who spend all their time playing computer games. I'm sure that makes your mum happy. What's her hobby? She buys old dolls. She's got hundreds of them. That's unusual. And what about your dad? He's a member of a theatre group. I'm going to see him in a play next month. Oh, is he any good? <laughs>、mm, not bad, but like my granddad always says. We won't see him in any films. Oh dear! <laughs> so, what does your granddad do? 
he likes taking pictures. He's got lots of cameras and special computer software to make them look really good. Well, what an interesting family. That is the end of part five. You now have six minutes to write answers on the answer sheet.
You have one more minute. That is the end of the test. Part 1. There are five parts to the test. You will hear each piece twice. Now look at the instructions for part 1. For each question, choose the correct answer. Look at question 1. One. What does Lucy decide to buy? What do you think of the skirt, Lucy? Have you tried it on yet? I tried that on first, Mum, but I'm still not sure if I prefer the dress. Well, if you can't decide, how about getting that T-shirt you saw instead? It's too small. I'm going to get what I tried on first. OK. It looked nicer than anything else. Now listen again. What do you think of the skirt, Lucy? Have you tried it on yet? I tried that on first, Mum, but I'm still not sure if I prefer the dress. Well, if you can't decide, how about getting that T-shirt you saw instead? It's too small. I'm going to get what I tried on first. OK. It looked nicer than anything else. Two. What time will they meet at the cinema? I've got an extra class this evening that doesn't finish until 6.30. So, can I meet you outside the cinema later? What time does the film start? It said quarter past seven online, but there'll be 15 minutes of adverts before it starts. So, if we get there at half past, it'll be fine. OK. See you then. Now listen again. I've got an extra class this evening that doesn't finish until 6.30. So, can I meet you outside the cinema later? What time does the film start? It said quarter past seven online, but there'll be 15 minutes of adverts before it starts. So, if we get there at half past, it'll be fine. OK. See you then. Three. Which photo are they looking at? I like this photo of you, Alice. You look a bit different. Yes. I had my hair cut short a few weeks after that photo was taken. And is that your younger sister, Sarah, standing next to you? Yes, that's Sarah. She still looks the same. She hasn't changed much. But she didn't wear glasses then. I think she actually looks better with her glasses. Now listen again. 
I like this photo of you, Alice. You look a bit different. Yes, I had my hair cut short a few weeks after that photo was taken. And is that your younger sister Sarah standing next to you? Yes, that's Sarah. She still looks the same. She hasn't changed much, but she did wear glasses then. I think she actually looks better with her glasses. Four. How far will they cycle tomorrow? Would you like to cycle to the lake with me tomorrow, Jack? That's quite a long way, isn't it? About thirty kilometers. It's probably only twenty-five kilometers, but we can go somewhere nearer if you like. How about cycling to Hillside Forest? It's only about ten kilometers there and back. Let's do that. Thirty kilometers is too far for me. Okay. See you tomorrow. Now listen again. Would you like to cycle to the lake with me tomorrow, Jack? That's quite a long way, isn't it? About thirty kilometers. It's probably only twenty-five kilometers, but we can go somewhere nearer if you like. How about cycling to Hillside Forest? It's only about ten kilometers there and back. Let's do that. Thirty kilometers is too far for me. Okay. See you tomorrow. Five. Where is Anna going on holiday next year? Did you enjoy your holiday, Anna? It was great. We stayed on a small campsite in the mountains. I'm not sure my dad enjoyed it much. He likes sightseeing, so he prefers city holidays. Well, perhaps you can do that next year. My mum's already booked a hotel by the beach, so I don't know when Dad will get his sightseeing holiday. Now listen again. Did you enjoy your holiday, Anna? It was great. We stayed on a small campsite in the mountains. I'm not sure my dad enjoyed it much. He likes sightseeing, so he prefers city holidays. Well, perhaps you can do that next year. My mum's already booked a hotel by the beach, so I don't know when Dad will get his sightseeing holiday. That is the end of part one. Test three, listening, part two. Now look at part two. For each question, write the correct answer in the gap. Write one word or a number or a date or a time. Look at questions six to ten now. You have ten seconds. You will hear some information on the radio about a competition to win tickets for a film festival. We've got an amazing competition for our listeners, which is to win tickets for a film festival called the Teen Film Festival. It's now the festival's second year. Last year it was on the twenty-fifth of March, but it's changed to the eighteenth of March. That's a week earlier than before. Five different films are shown at the festival, all of them thirty minutes long. The first one begins at six forty-five, and there are some breaks in the evening, with the last film starting at nine fifteen. Now we've got festival tickets for five lucky listeners. To enter the competition, all you need to do is text us on zero seven five two four six three nine one four. It won't cost anything to do that. In the text message, you need to say which film you enjoy most and give us your age and your name, of course. We'll need that to say who the winners are. Just make sure you listen to the program this Thursday. 
That's when you'll learn who's won the competition. But hurry, it's Monday today, so you've only got a few days. Now listen again. We've got an amazing competition for our listeners, which is to win tickets for a film festival called the Teen Film Festival. It's now the festival's second year. Last year it was on the 25th of March, but it's changed to the 18th of March. That's a week earlier than before. Five different films are shown at the festival, all of them 30 minutes long. The first one begins at 6:45, and there are some breaks in the evening, with the last film starting at 9:15. Now we've got festival tickets for five lucky listeners. To enter the competition, all you need to do is text us on 0752-463-914. It won't cost anything to do that. In the text message, you need to say which film you enjoy most and give us your age and your name, of course. We'll need that to say who the winners are. Just make sure you listen to the program this Thursday. That's when you'll learn who's won the competition. But hurry, it's Monday today, so you've only got a few days. That is the end of part two. Test three, listening. Part three. Now look at part three. For each question, choose the correct answer. Look at questions 11 to 15 now. You have 20 seconds. You will hear Oliver talking to his friend Noah about a camping trip. Are you still OK to come camping this weekend, Noah? Hi, Oliver. Yeah, I think it'll be fun. Where is the campsite you've booked? Is it in the mountains? The one we're staying at's in a forest, actually. About 30 kilometres from the sea. You've been there before, haven't you? Yeah, it's nice. They don't have a pool, and you can't play tennis there. They don't even have a shop. But everyone's easy to talk to, and they're great if you need any help. And how are we getting there? We've got lots of things to take, so I don't think we can cycle there or go by bus. I'll drive us there. OK, thanks, Oliver. I hope the weather's OK. They said on the radio it'll rain for a bit Saturday morning, but the clouds will go by midday and it should be sunny in the afternoon. Oh, that's good. Well, I'll go and get a few things packed. You won't need to bring any snacks, Noah. I'll bring those. But don't forget to pack your walking boots. My brother can lend us his tent. Great. See you Saturday then. Now listen again. Are you still OK to come camping this weekend, Noah? Hi, Oliver. Yeah, I think it'll be fun. Where is the campsite you've booked? Is it in the mountains? The one we're staying at's in a forest, actually. About 30 kilometres from the sea. You've been there before, haven't you? Yeah, it's nice. They don't have a pool. And you can't play tennis there. They don't even have a shop. But everyone's easy to talk to, and they're great if you need any help. And how are we getting there? We've got lots of things to take, so I don't think we can cycle there or go by bus. I'll drive us there. OK, thanks, Oliver. I hope the weather's OK. They said on the radio it'll rain for a bit Saturday morning. But the clouds will go by midday and it should be sunny in the afternoon. Oh, that's good.
Well, I'll go and get a few things packed. You won't need to bring any snacks, Noah. I'll bring those. But don't forget to pack your walking boots. My brother can lend us his tent. Great. See you Saturday, then. That is the end of part three. Test three. Listening. Part four. Now look at part four. For each question, choose the correct answer. Look at questions 16 to 20 now. You have 15 seconds. Sixteen. You will hear a man talking about an art exhibition he went to. Why did he like the paintings? What did you think of the art exhibition, Zach? I'm not really a fan of modern art. I prefer older paintings, traditional ones, I suppose. But I went because a friend said it was amazing. And I'm glad I went. It's not that the paintings were beautiful. It's more that they were different from anything I've seen before. Now listen again. What did you think of the art exhibition, Zach? I'm not really a fan of modern art. I prefer older paintings, traditional ones, I suppose. But I went because a friend said it was amazing. And I'm glad I went. It's not that the paintings were beautiful. It's more that they were different from anything I've seen before. Seventeen. You will hear a man talking to his friend about his cycling trip. What was a problem for the man? How was your cycling trip, Paul? You didn't get wet, did you? I was lucky. It was sunny all day. And I thought I might get tired, but I got to the lake and back, so I was pleased about that. It sounds like you had a good day. I did, except I didn't remember to take any food. <laughs> it was silly, really. Now listen again. How was your cycling trip, Paul? You didn't get wet, did you? I was lucky. It was sunny all day. And I thought I might get tired, but I got to the lake and back, so I was pleased about that. It sounds like you had a good day. I did, except I didn't remember to take any food. <laughs> it was silly, really. Eighteen. You will hear Alice talking to Chris about a history project they are doing together. Why can't Chris do the project on Wednesday? We've got to finish our history project this week, Chris. Which day are you free? Well, it's my brother's birthday party on Friday, so I can't do it then. And Rick and I have got tickets to see our favourite band at City College on Wednesday. How about Thursday? OK. I've got football practice for an hour, but I can meet you at five. Now listen again. We've got to finish our history project this week, Chris. Which day are you free? Well... It's my brother's birthday party on Friday, so I can't do it then. And Rick and I have got tickets to see our favourite band at City College on Wednesday. How about Thursday? OK. I've got football practice for an hour, but I can meet you at five. Nineteen. You will hear a teenager talking to her friend about a science competition she took part in. 
How did she feel about the competition? How was the science competition, Jess? You did enter, didn't you? Yeah, my mum persuaded me to. I wasn't sure at first, but it was actually a fun day, and the project that won was really interesting. It was about helping farmers grow crops. It taught me a few things I didn't know, so I'm glad I went. Now listen again. How was the science competition, Jess? You did enter, didn't you? Yeah, my mum persuaded me to. I wasn't sure at first, but it was actually a fun day, and the project that won was really interesting. It was about helping farmers grow crops. It taught me a few things I didn't know, so I'm glad I went. Twenty. You will hear two friends talking about the volleyball club they belong to. What does the girl like most about the club? Hi, Laura. Are you coming to volleyball practice tomorrow? It's at the park this week. Great. It'll be nice to play outdoors. Is everyone else coming? Last week only a few people came. The coach called everyone to make sure. It's great she does that kind of thing. Yeah, she's the best thing about the club, really. Now listen again. Hi, Laura. Are you coming to volleyball practice tomorrow? It's at the park this week. Great. It'll be nice to play outdoors. Is everyone else coming? Last week only a few people came. The coach called everyone to make sure. It's great she does that kind of thing. Yeah, she's the best thing about the club, really. That is the end of part four. Test three, listening, part five. Now look at part five. For each question, choose the correct answer. Look at questions twenty-one to twenty-five now. You have fifteen seconds. You will hear a boy talking to a friend about the activities their classmates are doing on Saturday. What activity is each person doing on Saturday? Hi, do you know if anyone from our class is doing anything interesting on Saturday? What's Leo doing? Oh, he's got piano practice. What about Emma? Well, this Saturday she's going to make lunch for her younger sister while her mum's out shopping. And Ben, is he watching the football match on TV? He'd like to, but he can't because he's got a school project to finish. Oh, what about Sophie? She usually visits her grandparents, doesn't she? She's got to go into town to get a new winter coat. Her old one's too small. Well, what's Helen doing? She's going to see her granddad. He hasn't been very well. And Tim? He's not going for another bike ride, is he? He went shopping yesterday and bought a new computer game. He says it's brilliant, so he wants to stay at home. He said we could join him. Great. Now listen again. Hi. Do you know if anyone from our class is doing anything interesting on Saturday? What's Leo doing? Oh, he's got piano practice. What about Emma? 
Well, this Saturday she's going to make lunch for her younger sister while her mum's out shopping. And Ben? Is he watching the football match on TV? He'd like to, but he can't because he's got a school project to finish. Oh. What about Sophie? She usually visits her grandparents, doesn't she? She's got to go into town to get a new winter coat. Her old one's too small. Well, what's Helen doing? She's going to see her granddad. He hasn't been very well. And Tim? He's not going for another bike ride, is he? He went shopping yesterday and bought a new computer game. He says it's brilliant, so he wants to stay at home. He said we could join him. Great. That is the end of part five. You now have six minutes to write your answers on the answer sheet.
You have one more minute. That is the end of the test.